Hey, what's up guys? Your boy Pilot 2K7 back for a brand new Grand Theft Auto 5 video. Today we're at the United States Coast Guard Air Station Los Santos and we're going to be flying a mission with the C-130 airplane that is right in front of us here. So let's go ahead and head inside of the station. We're actually going to have to load up the airplane with some medical supplies. We're going to be flying a special mission to drop off some medical equipment to a ship that is off the coast of uh, Los Santos. So everything that you guys see here, this is all part of a mod that is currently in a open beta work in progress phase. It's called Coastal Callouts. If you guys would like to check it out and get early access to it, I will link the Parks Benefactor program down below in the video description. Pretty much an early access program that lets you try out the mod for yourself before it is publicly released. And it's scheduled to be released um, sometime in uh, towards the end of 2019 for those who are wondering. But anyway, let's go ahead and jump into this. So first thing we're gonna do, actually, let me contact dispatch here and let's see exactly what they want us to do. So we're gonna go to plane medical drop. Okay. So we have a ship seven miles off the south coast has a sick crew member. The ship is too far offshore for a helicopter evac. Respond in a cargo plane loaded with some emergency supply barrels to deliver critical medications and supplies to the crew. Uh, you are not currently in a cargo aircraft. Okay, we already have a cargo aircraft, so that's fine. So first thing we are going to do, I actually have to get inside of this aircraft because I didn't get inside yet. So let me just get inside. So that I would register this as my aircraft. Alright. So now we're gonna go to the cargo door area. We're gonna actually change that to load cargo. That's gonna open up our rear cargo doors here. Alright, perfect. Next, we have to start loading up all of these supplies. So the main thing we need for this mission is going to be these orange Sorry, barrels up top. Right, these cool. have the medical supplies and medication that the people need. We are going to load up on some of these gray barrels as well. Those are expandable life rafts. And then we are also going to load up on some of these flares over, over here as well. These are boxes of flares. You know what? Let's just... Actually, no, we'll come back for that. So what we're going to do is grab this forklift here. And let's start loading up everything. <laughs> I guess we don't have a key. <laughs> That's kind of funny. So let's load up everything that we're going to need. Like I said, we're going to grab some life rafts as well, just in case we get dispatched to another mission. We want to make sure we are prepared for anything that may come up while we're out there. <laughs> Hold up, I lift I lift up the whole basket. Don't wanna do that. There we go. Uh, I'll just set that down so we could slide a little more. And we got it. Okay, so let's place this right here. I think we'll bring two pallets of life rafts. Just want to make sure we're prepared for anything, just in case we get any other calls. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. All right, so now let's grab some of these medical supplies. Let's see if I could do this in first person here.
Alright, this should be... Oops. Okay, there we go. So that should be an... Actually, no, I'm gonna bring some more medical supplies. I thought that had more than two on it. Ah, this one had more than two. So that should be everything that we need. I'm going to park this up over here. I kind of forgot how to pick up these flares. I'm pretty sure this is a box of flares right here. Oh, okay. It, it was a box of flares. Yeah, I kind of sworn I could pick those up, but you know what? It's okay. There's an there's another way we can do that. So let's come over here, and we'll use our coastal callouts, and we'll just spawn a box of flares. Oh, uh, maybe those weren't the boxes. Okay. Yeah. See, these we could pick up. I remember this now. I thought those were the boxes. I'm not too sure. All right. So let's put that down. Um, let's bring up our cargo menu. Let's go to load cargo. And let's start loading everything. So let's see. I'm gonna load these flares first. Then we're, oh, it goes, it goes that way, I forgot. Okay, so let's actually unload. Okay, let's load now. So I'm gonna load these flares first. Alright, after that, we could probably load that flares. Then we could load the life rafts. We'll load that, and then we'll load that. Okay. So let's take a look at our cargo. So we have six barrels of medical supplies, we have four life rafts. And then we have uh, some flares, and then uh, obviously we have more space. So this should be good. Let's go ahead and close up everything now. So we're gonna go to here, set that to close, and we are ready to go. So let's get inside now. I let the left the light on on this. Let's uh, put this back where it's supposed to be. So let's hop into the plane and let's head to this boat and see if we can help them out. Alright, so I think we have enough. We have six emergency barrels. That should be plenty. Let's see, it's 450 right now. I'm going to reset the time. Set that to 12, and you know what else? Let's load up this too. And let's just put freeze time, uh oh. Ah, that's why. <laughs> All right, that range console is very helpful too, whenever you lose like script hook and stuff that always comes in handy all right let's get ready to take off let's see where is this oh they're gonna be right over here okay so we could take off uh which runway should we take i uh, will just take off 12 right here
I'm gonna taxi around though so we have more space because it's kind of short that way. Okay, so we are clear to take off. Runway one to the right. All right, let's set takeoff power here. Air speed's alive. Got V1, and rotate. Positive right, landing gear up. And we're gonna turn south. Nice and smooth takeoff there. Now, I'm not going to gain too much altitude here, mainly because we're only going seven miles. And we're going to actually have to do a drop here, too. So it's actually easy to drop when we're flying low. So first thing we're going to do is try to locate the ship. Uh, once we locate it, we're going to try to see what their course is, so which way they're going, how fast they're going. And then we can try to calculate a good path to fly in and drop our cargo. Oh, there it is. Pretty sure this is going to be the boat that we're looking for. This should be an easy target. Yep, this is it. There, they have their flares up. This is a boat we're looking for. So what we are going to do, actually turn, I feel like the easiest way would probably be from coming from the north heading south. So I'm going to spin around this way. And we're going to try to just fly directly at the ship and then drop it right in front of the, uh, the bridge there. And then the crew should be able to recover it. We can also go side to side, but it's a little bit harder, like east to west or west to east, mainly because we have less of a drop distance or a drop zone. Yeah, I think we should be good this way, so we'll fly it a little bit and then we'll spin it around. Let's also, let me set autopilot really quickly. Let's go to... Cargo doors. Now let's set that to drop items so that our doors are now open. And let's also let's stage the item too so we can have it ready to drop. So stage cargo. So that puts the cargo right there. And let's see, to drop a barrel, first stage the barrel from the coastal plane menu or by pressing LT to drop press RT. So you know what? Let me actually not stage it yet. Just because every time I... Yeah. Oh, it's those buttons. I forgot. Okay. So, um, it says RT and LT, but it's actually left 
bumper and right bumper. Oh! <laughs> yeah, that, that one doesn't count. So the mini, I forgot the mini is actually backwards. So we actually are able to fly. So ooh, let's just continue to fly. Let's take off autopilot. I was worried that as I press uh, right trigger for my throttle, I thought I was going to, like, you know, drop or load cargo. So that's why I was trying to unload it. But it actually isn't the case. So we are able to control our speed without worrying about unloading the cargo. All right, we're gonna have to turn hard here. There's also a cool camera view I wanna try to show you guys too. Let me just try to get on course here. Okay, can we get on our first try, guys? Oh, not that slow. Okay, I think we got this. Let's record this, too. Alright. Staging it. Bombs away. Nice easy drop. Alright, so like I said, it's pretty easy when you go that way. Let's see if we could do it from side to side just for the heck of it. So we're gonna unstage that. I'm actually closing my doors up. So that was a successful hit. <laughs> What I want to try to do though, let me see if I can figure out the camera view button. Because it's not switching to it. Alright guys, so I reloaded LSPDFR so I could add that line to my config file. So now, as you can see, this is the cool camera view I was telling you guys about. So you can actually see yourself dropping stuff from here. And you can also get this view here as well, which is pretty cool. So you know what, since we have the new views, let's see if we can do the call out again. So we're going to do the same call, but this time I'm going to try to do it from the other views. Alright. Let me go ahead and turn off autopilot. I'm going to just close this for the time being. Alright, let's find the next ship. We could pick them up on our camera. Nothing yet. Oh, this is gonna be hard, guys. This is gonna be hard. Here we go. This is gonna be a hard one here. Much smaller drop area. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna try to engage autopilot too. Woo, this is hard. Okay, I think that's it. Okay. I don't know if we're going to get this one, guys. I don't know. See, the thing is, we can't really see from this view, so I'm going to have to switch back once we fly directly over it. Oh, man. I wish I was a little lower, too. Autopilot's <laughs> taking us so slow. <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna hit this one, guys. Oh, the ship is moving, actually. Hold up. Okay. Oh, drop. Oh, I think I missed. Uh, so close, like a second too late. Oh, I should have been fumbling around with autopilot. All right, so we have an option here. We could have the 
the ship try to pick it up out of the water or we could try to drop another one so i'm having fun i think you guys are enjoying the video too definitely let me know if you are but let's try to drop um another one let's try our luck again so we're gonna go back to here we're gonna turn autopilot off oh man that was crazy <laughs> We were so close too. I just, it was just like one second too late. I was trying to get the last minute adjustment with autopilot. Like I said, when you're, go when you're going from side to side, it's a little bit harder. But when you go from like the front of the ship to the back or the back to the front, it is much easier. I'm banking kind of hard here. Oh, this may be a bad setup too. I kind of wanted to come straighter at it, but it's okay. Staging. Darn autopilot. Oh no, <laughs> I dropped the life preserver. <laughs> oh, that was a mess too. Oh man! Oh, well, we wait. I dropped two life rafts. That was a double fail. <laughs> Why nobody told me I had a life raft spawn there? Okay, so uh, did I delete what's inside or did I delete what's outside? I oh, know we slammed everything inside. Okay, so that was a bit of a fail. Let's unstage that. Let's go to. Okay, that's what we want staged. Well, let's try this again. I think I do a better job without autopilot. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go out a little bit further too, so we have more time to line up here. Oh, this is fun though. So, other things you could do with the aircraft and um, coastal call-outs, you can also do like cargo transport missions where you like pick up cargo from one airport and drop it off at another airport. Um, you can airdrop cargo, you can airdrop the medical supplies, you can airdrop the life raft. So, if somebody's in the water, you could drop them a life raft so that they could go inside the life raft until the helicopter gets there. So, it's a lot of cool things you guys could do with this mod. And I'll probably do some more episodes with the planes as well. And there's also another plane besides the C-130. I can't think of the name right now. It is a... C-27, that's the other plane. All right, here we go, guys. Here we go, here we go, here we go. <laughs> I still miss. <laughs> I still miss, I think. Uh, I can't even see from back here. I'm pretty sure. Oh, shoot. I'm pretty sure I missed that, though. It may have hit. I don't know. Okay, they're going to go pick it up out of the water. So we did miss. We're going to have to do some more practice. We definitely missed those, but it was, it was still fun, though. <laughs> So what I'm going to do, let's head back towards our base here. Yeah, we are far away. We're going to head back toward, towards the airport. It feels so weird trying to fly the airplane from back here. 
it's like I'm looking the opposite way that I'm flying, so everything just feels weird. All right, the boat crew has picked up the barrel, returning to the ship. You could attempt to drop more. Uh, what it said, you may continue attempting to drop the barrel onto the ship, or or we could return to base. Okay, so we will return to base. Alright guys, we are back at the airport. Just gonna make a hard left turn and we're gonna try to land. Alright, all doors are closed. All right, hopefully the turn in radius is okay here. I think we'll be fine. Let's start our turn. Let's drop down those landing gear, flaps down for landing. Start lining up for final here. Looking good. All right, we're cleared for landing. Oh, <laughs> GTA 5, man, that's crazy. Alright. Oh, float, don't, whoa, don't put the landing gear down. Oh, Lord, that was terrible. <laughs> I wanted to land and take that high-speed exit there, but that did not work. <laughs> okay. GTA 5, like, landing in GTA 5 is so different from landing in, like, any flight simulator game. <laughs> oh, but we got her down, though. Looks like a uh, Jayhawk just came in for landing, too. And we are back. Alright guys, so we have successfully completed our mission for today, so hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. If you did, make sure you guys go ahead and smash that like button. Uh, again, if you guys have any questions about um, Coastal Callouts, so if you guys want to check out the uh, early access to it, the Park's Been Effective program, definitely check out the link down below in the video description. And huge shout outs to PNW Parks fan for putting together this amazing mod and then also shout out to skyline gtr freak for making the helicopters and the boats and the planes that go along with this mod as well so anyway guys thank you guys so much for watching really do hope you guys enjoy it and i will see you guys in the next one peace